We are back with part two of this week's massive Xbox sale. We have so many games to get through, around 59 in total, all of which can be completed in under two hours. In our last video, we checked off all those cheap games and all those best games currently available, and today we're running through all the rest. So let's waste no more time, let's roll those credits and get into the video. So as always we are starting with all those games that you can complete in under half an hour. And the first game on our list this week is Don't Starve Giant Edition. This one's 75% off at $2.99, is rated 3.25 from fellow achievement hunters and is an open world survival roguelite. Next on the list is our first visual novel and our first East Asia soft game. This one's 60% off at $6.69 and that's The Letter, a horror visual novel rated 2.25. And we have The Enigma Machine next, 50% off at $3.74. This game is going to be our first stinker that we have and it's only rated 1.75. This is an adventure game that takes you into the mind of an android. A game we've mentioned before in our videos because it's rated really highly at 3.5. This puzzle platformer called The Pedestrian is 50% off at 7.49. Now there seems to be a few horror games on sale this week, this one being the first, Frightenance, 80% off, a very cheap 167, just missed out on being in our last video, but this one is another stinker, only rated 1.75, so two stinkers in our first five games. And the next game is another game that appears in many a list and that's Airy the New Frontier. This one's rated 2 stars, is 40% off at £5.03p and like all Airy games this is a story driven 3D flight game. Another flight game is Paper Flight Speed Rush 33% off at 5 62 This one's also rated 2 stars and it's classed as a game to ease the mind and have fun popping innocent balloons. Our next game Dark Burial Enhanced Edition has just recently had an update, making this game now worth 2000G, hence why it's probably on offer 30% off at 293, rated 2.25 and this is a retro style puzzle platformer. Another game with a huge gamer score is Zombie Derby Pixel Survival, this one's worth 3000G, it's 20% off at 335 and is rated 2.75. The Windows version for this game is also on sale and you can stack both for a massive 6000 G. I'm guessing is what is a sequel is Zombie Derby 2, 20% off also at 335. This one is also worth 3000 G. The Windows version is also on offer and again this one can also be stacked for 6000 G. A newly released game now that was only released on the 18th of August is Embraced by Autumn. This is a visual novel from Rattle Leaky Games, 20% off, still a hefty 13.59. That is a serious amount of money for a visual novel, but this one will only take you that half hour to get the full achievements. And yet another new release from Desert Water Games this time, released on the 18th of August, is Pirate Bloopers. This one is 20% off at 6.71, is rated 3.75, and we have guides available on our channel, so make sure you check that one out if you pick up this game. The Windows version is also on sale and this one is stackable getting you 2000G if you complete both versions. And we move swiftly on to all those games that can be completed between half hour and an hour and there's a few less in this one but still nevertheless there's some good ones and the first one is Sissia's Path. Now this looks like another game I played recently called Fluffly Milo where basically you seem to be a cat pushing things around a puzzle. This one's rated 2.5 is 30% off at 2.93. It's had a few updates and is worth 3,000 G. Another massive gamer score for this one, worth 4,000 G, is Gabriel's World: The Adventure. This one's on offer quite regularly. It's 40% off at a really cheap 2.75 and is rated 2.25. League of Enthusiastic Losers is next, 50% off at 4.59, rated two stars, and this is an adventure point-and-click game. A run and gun third person shooter next, Thunder Kid 2 Null Mission. Another stinker at 
1.75, 50% off at 3.34. Guazu, the rescue, I think that was how it's pronounced, is 45% off at 3.89, rated 2.75, and this game is a platformer. The story tale is next, 40% off at 2.51, rated 2.25. This is another platformer, has had considerable updates, this one, 5,000 G this one is. Really worth getting at 251. That's a real bargain for 5000G. You're probably not going to find another bang for your buck game quite like that. So yeah, pick up this platformer this week if you're looking for some real achievements. PixArt is next. This looks like something between Minecraft and art. Is rated 2.25 is 75% off at 837. Now you mentioned this one in our first game as it was definitely one of the worst games on that list at 1.5. The Caretaker game, 159, 80% off, is an adventure horror experience. Red Death next, 167, 60% off, rated 2 stars. This is a space style arcade shoot em up and has had one update making it worth 2000G. And our last game was also in our first video, Task Force Campus. This one's rated 2.5, 70% off, 149 for this, again, space style shoot em up game. And here comes the majority of the games. They all go be completed in under two hours and we have a lot to get through. So let's kick off with the first one, The Great Perhaps rated three stars so a good game to be kicking off with 70% off at 259 and this one's worth that 1000g. Now I have this one on my backlog as I was told this is the worst game that this person had ever played and this one is currently rated only one star so I can see why that is the case and that's Alison's Diary Rebirth 40% off at £5.03. The next one is Mask of Mist 499 60% off this action adventure game is rated 3.25 another horror survival game an evil existence this one was mentioned again in our first one as it's only 149 85% off and is another horror stinker at 1.75 old man's journey next 65% off at 293 this is another decent game rated 3.25 and it's an adventure point and click game party game that's also available in game pass is on sale next gang beast 60% off at 639. So if you don't have Game Pass, consider picking up this one this week. It's rated three stars, so a decent little party game there. Rise of Insanity next, a two-star game, 70% off at 251, and this is an adventure first-person psychological horror game. Transference, jump into an escape room set in a deranged mind, 75% off at 499. This Ubisoft game is rated three stars. The Coma next, 75% off, 374, rated 3 stars. And this is a narrative adventure set aboard a high tech space station. Don't Knock Twice next, first person horror game, rated 2.5, 55% off at 4.49. Maze next, 75% off, 399, rated 2.75. And this is a first person adventure game. Another game that was in yesterday's video is Another World 20th Anniversary Edition, rated 2.75. And this game is a platformer. And we continue with our horror games next with The Park. This game is rated 2.75, 60% off at £4.15p. Another door next, 837, 50% off. Actually rated only 0.75. Now this is worse than Alison's Diary and is classed as a survival game. But for that, I really wouldn't recommend picking it up. There's gotta be something fundamentally wrong with this game. And unless you're desperate for something to play, I would maybe skip this one last net this week. But if you have played it, let us know in the comments how bad it is. I'm pretty sure I can guess some people who have got it already. So please let me know how bad this game is. Adios next, 45% off, 827. This game is rated 2.5. It is an adventure game. Who's your daddy next? 30%, 559, rated 2.5, even though the graphics on it look absolutely terrible. But this one has had one very small update, making it now worth 1,655. So if you like those round numbers, maybe stick away from this one. Mushroom Savior next for Windows 10. That 
one's on offer this week 50% off at £2.09 and this one's rated 2.5 has had one update and is worth 2000g murder house next 4.99 50% off rated 3.25 and is a adventure horror game another game available in game pass but for those of you who don't hello neighbor 2 is on offer 30% off at 23.44 this is a stealth puzzle game and one of my personal favorites that's also available on game pass but i highly recommend if you haven't played this that you definitely get there and play it now or you pick it up this week at 30% off at 10.49 and that's escape academy now this is an escape room puzzle game rated 3.75 so a really good game and really worth picking up and for only two hours of gameplay you'll be able to pick up that 1000G. Droid Trivia is next. This one's rated two stars, 40% off at 4.79. And this is an educational and trivia game. Right, so now you're gonna have to learn to get achievements. Maybe not up everyone's alley, that one. But if not, you can always pick up Plunder Panic, 30% off at 5.59. This is only rated 1.25, so there's some really bad games on offer this week. It's classed as a party game, um, five game for up to 12 players <laughs> I think you might struggle to find 12 friends to actually play this game with tip top don't fall next rated 1.75 so still some shockingly bad games 60% off at 3.35 and this is an action game dad's monster house next finally back to some normality rated 3.25 30% at 3.49 and this is an adventure point and click mothered a role-playing horror game next 50% 225 four pound and 19p and this is a first person horror adventure oh god the cats are back a castle full of cats next 20% off at £2.63 this one only launched on August the 16th so if you're looking to pick up this game perfect opportunity to do it and this is a puzzle hidden object game Railbound 751 30% off rated 3.25 and this is a puzzle game so two more to go with this one being Secret Agent Cold War Espionage 50% off at £4.19 and 19p rated 3.5 and it's an action adventure game and our final one is actually a little bundle little mouse encyclopedia and clumsy rush are both bundled together in this brilliantly cheap bundle at only three pound and 12p 75 percent off now little mouse encyclopedia will only take you about half hour to complete to get a thousand g and clumsy rush will take you less than two hours to complete so for around two to two and a half hours you'll be to pick up 2000g with this nice little bundle and that's it that's 59 games all on sale this week that all can be completed in under two hours there is lots and lots of stinkers out there so i suggest you might want to keep away from them like i said if anyone's played them let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear how bad some of these games are and i might even pick up a few and stick them on the channel just to show you how bad they really are now i hope you can all find something great this week and if you are finding this information helpful then please do like share and subscribe to the channel we are building this channel and we could do with more of you joining us and helping us grow our community and whilst you're there don't forget to check out our twitter page where we run competitions and it'll be your one-stop shop for all your xbox needs but that's enough from me now i'm sure you've all got loads of games to play so thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next video